Okay, hello. Uh, this is the first time I've updated the tool for a little while, but um, there's a few new features and a few bug fixes. I will also make a video to show you how to install it properly and hopefully reduce down any errors that people get. Um, but okay, let's get started. So in FX Tools menu, it says bubbles. That is literally the tool. Um, I haven't split it up. I combined it because I thought it made more sense to have both the options in one UI just having different tabs. So um, once you open it, you should get this UI. You, same as before, there's one additional item which is particle render type. And the main reason this has been added is basically if you set, if you didn't put in an image before and then you press six to show textured mode on the keyboard, you'd end up basically getting lots of errors in the script editor, which would be quite irritating and you it may make your, you think that there's something wrong with your scene, but there isn't. So basically what I've done is I've added the option to choose the type of uh, particle you want to use. So uh, let's do the usual. I'm just going to shape this a little bit, give it a bit more of an interesting shape. And basically, I'm going to choose a uh, streak, multi streak. And I've also added in a default item. Basically, in the past, I've let this blank uh, by mistake, and it still creates everything. And further down the line, I end up with errors. So, what I've done now is if you hit make me and it's blank, you'll get a, a pop up box, and you'll basically need to name it. I'm just going to call it test. So, and now I'm going to hit the Dynamics UI button. Make this go up to 5,000 frames. So now if I press play, you can see that the uh, it is actually multi-streak. Change the colors. See? Transparency, let's swap it. So, you can't really see it at the moment. Let's make it a bit bigger. And make them live longer. Straight away you can see that they're, they don't look like the sprites anymore. Um, you can also see there's some more options down here. And they basically, um, at the moment I've just put them into a big chunk. Um, and over time I will make it so that you can actually um, so they'll appear or disappear depending on which type of particle you choose but for now just added this in this way um, so you've got all the um, the same features you get on particles but they're all just within this UI so uh, now press play there you can see some funky stuff Quite cool. It is. I just do that. Put that to zero. No, not that one. Wait for that one. So you've got it going in that direction. Quite cool. You can do uh, light speed sort of thing quite quickly. So if we go up here, we can make the tail size even longer. Change the multi count. On is quite big at the moment, so if we reduce that down. Maybe make a few more come up. So you've got so you can do some quite cool things already straight away. Um, and obviously uh, another thing you can do is you can also change it as as you want. So now I've changed it to multi point. And the multi point will show up so you can it do it like that. All the uh, other items still work as well, so if I press stop and create a sphere.
pressed F to, to center on there. I'm right clicking. I'm just going to delete some of these faces just so that we've got something for it to uh, react with. And now if I select that, I hit make selected collide, it will make the, uh, the sphere collide with particles. So, just move that a bit closer so you get a bit more of a response earlier on, and maybe speed it up a bit more. So, 25 to now it should. Controlled. We can also change it to a blobby surface or tube or cloud. Um, and also, so now you've also got the uh, radius min and max. So now if you change it, you might just have to refresh the viewport by restarting it. So you've got the uh, get some nice looking cloud effects and all the colouring still carries across as well so different colour a bit annoying that you, the ramp doesn't update I need to work out why that is but when you change the actual colour it doesn't update but it I mean it works so Nice bright colours. Hiding it. So you can see, um, yeah, that's the new features. Okay, thanks.